what a magnamazing day the Lord has made. Revelation 16, 15 says, look, I will come as unexpectedly as a thief. Blessed are all who are watching for me, who keep their clothing ready so they will not have to walk around naked and ashamed. Today is Monday, 7-8-2024, and as I was doing my evening and morning devotion, what came to me was don't play with fire. Matthew 3, 8 through 10 says, prove by the way you live that you have repented of your sins and turned to God. Don't just say to each other, we're safe, for we are descendants of Abraham. That means nothing. For I tell you, God can create children of Abraham from these very stones. Even now, the axe of God's judgment is poised, ready to sever the roots of the tree. Yes, every tree that does not produce good fruit will be chopped down and thrown into the fire. If you did not understand the scriptures, let me explain. See, we, the people, are trees and are expected to bear and produce good fruit by the way we live, by the way we live righteous lives and our good deeds. If you call yourself a Christian and live in sin and are contrary to God's commandments, decrees, requirements, and regulations, God has no use for you. If you don't repent and turn to God through our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, God will pick up the axe assigned to you and chop you down. Playing with sin is like playing with fire. If you do it long enough, you will get burned. The only difference is the burn I'm speaking of is eternal. How many times will you willfully be disobedient? Do you know how many more times God will allow you to be disrespectful and disrespect him nailing Jesus to the cross before you are chopped down? Don't play with fire. As this short video with love from the Lord's word is delivered, I ask that God give me the wisdom, strength, and the words of truth to pierce the hearts and minds of those hearing this message. See, we must obey God's commandments, run from sin, and resist temptation. Serve Jesus and others and share the good news every chance we get. If you know the word, but are willingly being disobedient and not following the word, I am telling you, don't play with sin. Don't play with fire. Genesis 4, 6 through 7 says, Why are you so angry? The Lord asked Cain. Why do you look so dejected? It, you will be accepted if you do what is right. But if you refuse to do what is right, then watch out. Sin is crouching at the door, eager to control you, but you must subdue it and be its master. See, sin is crouching at our door, and we must turn to God, humble and in our continual weakness and having faith in Jesus to gain strength from the Holy Spirit to master sin. Resisting temptation and sin will be a lifetime battle until Jesus returns and we meet him face to face. My advice is don't play with fire. Hebrews 10, 26 through 29 says, Dear friends, if we deliberately continue sinning after we have received knowledge of the truth, there is no longer any sacrifice that will cover these sins. There is only the terrible expectations of God's judgment and the raging fire that will consume his enemies. For anyone who refused to obey the law of Moses was put to death without mercy on the testimony of two or three witnesses. Just think how much worse the punishment will be for those who trample on the Son of God and have treated the blood of the covenant which made us holy as if it were common and unholy and have insulted and disdained the Holy Spirit 
who brings God's mercy to us. See, horses and humans are similar in one way that I can think of. You can lead them both to water, but you can't make them drink. Are you rejecting the life-giving water Jesus offers for our salvation by the way you live? Being disobedient to God's wills, commandments, decrees, requirements, and regulations. If you know God's word, the truth, what is stopping you from following it to the T? See, many people know the truth and will tell you scriptures for 30 to 45 minutes and are living in a way that is like spitting in the face of Jesus, cutting themselves off from the only name under heaven that gives forgiveness and salvation. Don't play with fire. Psalms 34, 16 says, but the Lord turns his face against those who do evil. He will erase their memory from the earth. Don't play with fire. Colossians 3, 5 through 6 says, so put to death the sinful earthly things lurking within you. Have nothing to do with sexual immorality, impurity, lust, and evil desires. Don't be greedy, for a greedy person is an idolater, worshiping the things of this world. Because of these sins, the anger of God is coming. See, sexual intimacy was designed for a man with his own woman as his wife to make and grow families. If you're not married, sex is not designed for you. And it's surely not designed for sleeping with your own gender or for those who are confused about who and what they are. See, God destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah for this very reason. Don't play with fire. Romans 1, 18 through 19 says, But God showed his anger from heaven against all sinful, wicked people who suppress the truth by their wickedness. They know the truth about God because he has made it obvious to them. See, God has revealed himself to everyone, yet people choose to ignore the voice in their head and in their ear and their heart that tells them what they are doing or what they are about to do is wrong. Don't play with fire. Romans 1, 20 through 22 says, for since the world was created, people have seen the earth and sky through everything God made. They can clearly see his invisible qualities, his eternal power and divine nature. So they have no excuse for not knowing God. Yes, they know they knew God, but they weren't, they wouldn't worship him as God or even give him thanks. And they began to think up foolish ideas of what God was like. As a result, their minds became dark and confused, claiming to be wise. They instead became utter fools. See, many people have traded God's morals, values, and standards for their own as right, basically saying their ways are better than God's ways. Jesus is the source of life, and many believe the world revolves around them or the idols they have created. There is only one God, and he sacrificed his son, Jesus Christ, for our sins. Don't play with fire. Romans 1, 24 through 26 says, So God abandoned them to do whatever shameful things their hearts desired. As a result, they did vile and degrading things with each other's bodies. They traded the truth about God for a lie. So they worshiped and served the things God created instead of the creator himself, who is worthy of eternal praise. Amen. That is why God abandoned them to their shameful desires. Even the women turned against the natural way to have sex and instead indulge in sex with each other. See, the choice is yours, life or death, the devil or Jesus. Will you choose independence of your own heart being a slave to sin 
and destruction or will you choose dependence on God, the creator of all things for everything you do? Don't play with fire. Romans 1, 27 says, and the men, instead of having normal sexual relations with women, burned with lust for each other. Men did shameful things with other men, and as a result of this sin, they suffered within themselves the penalty they deserve. See, your burning lust will cause your burning in eternal lake of fire unless you repent of your sins, turn to Jesus, seek forgiveness, and be a person who fervently prays and follow the commands of God in everything you do. Don't play with fire. Romans 1, 28 through 32 says, since they thought it foolish to acknowledge God, he abandoned them to their foolish thinking and let them do things they should never be done. Their lives became full of every kind of wickedness, sin, greed, hate, envy, murder, quarreling, deception, malicious behavior, and gossip. They are backstabbers, haters of God, insolent, proud, and boastful. They invented new ways of sinning, and they disobeyed their parents. They refused to understand, break their promises, are heartless, and have no mercy. They know God's justice requires that those who do these things deserve to die, yet they do them anyway. Worse yet, they encourage others to do them too. Are you risking an early death for a desire and thrill of your own heart? Are you one of those who says, I know it is wrong, but God will be okay if I do it this one time? Or if you've done it that one time, maybe just one more time, whichever fits your bill. You know God is not okay and you risk death and the grave for a few minutes of temporary perceived and deceived fun and excitement. Don't play with fire. Come to Jesus today. Jesus said, yes, I am the vine, you are the branches. Those who remain in me and I in them will produce much fruit. For apart from me, you can do nothing. Anyone who does not remain in me is thrown away like a useless branch and withers. Such branches are gathered into a pile to be burned. Don't play with fire. Now, Acts 3, 19 through 20 says, Now repent of your sins and turn to God so that your sins may be wiped away. Then times of refreshment will come from the presence of the Lord and he will again send you Jesus, your appointed Messiah. And they were singing the song of Moses, the servant of God, and the song of the Lamb. Great and marvelous are your works, O Lord our God, the Almighty. Just and true are your ways, O King of the nations, who will not fear you, Lord, and glorify your name. For you alone are holy. All nations will come and worship before you, for your righteous deeds have been revealed. May the Lord lead your hearts into a full understanding and expression of the love of God and the patient endurance that comes from Christ. Amen. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Have a magnum amazing day and leave a legacy doing legendary things. Repenting of your sins and turning to God. Today is the day of your salvation. Don't play with fire unless you want to burn. Our purpose is your blessing. God bless.